Alright, this is DRBB, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on ICD-10 coding. Now, as an example, we have a 59-year-old male with lung adenocarcinoma. So the first step is to get the base ICD-10 code. Now, there's a little app on the website we can use for this. So, I'm going to put in lung cancer, and see, oh, nothing, hold on, let me try lung neoplasm. Okay, and as you can see, we have a lot of choices here. Um, so this is a malignant neoplasm of the upper lobe and the right bronchus. So we are going to use the C3411 code as our base code. We also need to specify the bronchus. So if you pull out your netter and compare it to this patient, this was the B1 bronchus. This was an adenocarcinoma, which the code for that was X7. And this tumor had the T790M mutation. So this is the base ICD-10 code. So then this will be a function of the base code as well as the size of the tumor or disease process. In this case, I will use the equation for volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. This tumor was 4.3 centimeters. This would obviously be more difficult if it was a medical disease like diabetes, but we'll cover that in a future tutorial. And then the final thing you need to specify is time, which we will leave as a variable for now. This patient also had a pneumonia, so we're going to need to add a function for that. Now I'll again look up the base code for this. Let's see, we'll put in pneumonia here. Oh, that's a lot of choices. Okay, um, so this patient, we will use unspecified bacterial pneumonia or J15.9. Now, I was able to get the radiologist to estimate the size of this pneumonia from the imaging. Um, he gave me 328 plus or minus 50 centimeters cubed. And then again, we'll have our time variable here. Now, this pneumonia was treated empirically, so we're going to need to make this an imaginary sum. So I'll add i, which of course is the square root of negative 1 to that sum there. Now, there's one complication here. Uh, this patient has not yet had full body imaging to look for metastases. So right now, they are in a superposition state of all possible metastases. So we are going to need to sum over all organ systems, n equals 1 to over all organs, which we'll use O prime to designate that. Then the superposition components, 1 over the square root of O prime. Um, then summing over the eigenvectors of all metastases. So we will again have our function here of each ICD-10 base code. We can write a function for that. Um, this will be little psi of organ N with a metastasis of this case, C34.11.b1.x7.t790m. So that'll give us the ICD-10 for each metastasis. Of course, we will have to do this manually later. And then we will add the size component and the time and the function and the eigenstate. Now, of course, the last step is to integrate this entire function over the disease volume and the time. I think that's enough for part one, though. I'll teach you how to solve this function in part two of the video. And if you think this is all needlessly complicated and a scam to not pay you for work that you do, you are absolutely right, but there's nothing we can do about it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.